Welcome to KOK Party Favors. Today we're going to be designing a chip bag using Photoshop. I have Photoshop already open on my computer, so I'm going to go to File Open to get the chip bag template. Okay, here's my template. And we're going to design um, an LOL doll chip bag. So I'm going to pull some artwork from my LOL doll library, which I have in Photoshop. So I'm going to pull over this file and I'm going to resize it because I'm only working on the front of the design at this time. The white portion is the front of the chip bag. And the left and right blue panels are the back of the chip bag. Okay, that's done. So what we're going to do, you've noticed I have a crimps. That's a PNG file. And I have them at the top and the bottom. So in order to keep my crimps in my design, I'm going to have to move this file under the crimps layer. So I'm going to move this background layer under the crimps and you'll see my crimps will come back into the design. And I use this because it's uh, better for me when I assemble my bags to already have the crimps on there versus using my crimper. I also have that as well, but I prefer to just put the crimps in the design. So now we're going to find another element um, to go up here at the top and I think I would like some polka dots at the top so we're going to see I am going to go over to my uh, polka dot digital files here and I'll take this polka dot file here and I'll resize it Right. Okay. So now we have the front of the bag design. Now I'm going to go and find a LOL doll to add to the design. And I have several in this file. I'm going to find one. I'm going to go with her. Okay, so I'm going to center her. You can always tell the center when you get the vertical pink line going down the center of your design. Okay, so she is centered. And I think I'm going to resize her. I'm going to go to Edit, Free Transform, and resize her down because there are other elements that I want to add to the design. Okay, so now... Um, I want to add a label up top here because when I put in text um, that I'll show you shortly, if um, I don't have a solid color background, it's not going to show up as well. So I'm going to put this label here. And I'm going to put it behind her. Okay. I just moved it, the layer down. And uh, I'm also going to add a stroke to that, which is just the uh, line around the edge of the label. So I'm going to go to FX stroke. And I'm going to select the color. I like that blue there. That blue is nice. We're going to use that blue. And I'm going to add another stroke. We're going to uh, have the blue and uh, black stroke on it. 
And I think I would like to have the color of that label. I'm going to click OK. I think I'd like to have the color of this label to be this dark purple here. So what I'm going to do is click on the label. I'm going to go to FX, Color Overlay. And I am going to uh, select the blue. And I'm going to hover the paint dropper right over this purple. And the purple came into the label. That's what I want. Now I'm going to uh, add text. I'm going to hit the T, horizontal type tool. And I'm going to put happy birthday. Kanaya. And I'm going to center that. Okay, so now we have the front of our bag design. I would like to add something else. I want to add some balloons to this design. So I'm going to go to my library file again on Photoshop. And I'm going to add this yellow balloon. I'm going to resize it. And I'm going to duplicate that balloon. So the way to duplicate it is to hold down the layer, bring it down to this plus, and you'll see layer one copy. So that means that there's a copy of that balloon right there. Okay. So I want to put this balloon uh her hair is overlapping it just a little bit, but I want to move this balloon in front of her hair. So what I'm going to do is take this copy of the balloon that I made and put that layer in front of her. And that made the balloon just kind of overlap her hair a little bit, okay? And now I want to add some presents, two presents down here. So I'm going to go to File, Open. Dropbox, and I'm going to go to my birthday present file. Okay, and I like um, I like both of these yellow presents. So let's just take both of those in. And I just highlighted both of them. Hold down the shift key, use your arrow, and highlight both of them. Click open. Okay. So it pulled in both boxes. I'm going to drag the boxes down. And I'm going to pull one in at a time and resize it. So I'm going to go File, Free Transform. You always use that when you want to size something. Okay. All right. Got that one done. Now I pull in this yellow box. And we're we'll going to edit, free transform again. Take any white box, drag it down, drag it down till you get it the size that you want it. And then you just put it in your design, place it in your design. Okay, so I think we've done pretty good on the front of this bag. Now we're going to go to the back. And on the back, I think I want the two back flaps to also be purple. So I'm going to go left flap, FX, color overlay. And purple was the last color we used, so it's, it's already there and it's already dropped in. Click OK. Go to right flap, do the same thing. FX, color overlay. The purple is going to drop in on this right side. Oh, it didn't. So we're going to make it drop in then. All right, there you go. Okay, so now we have our back uh, almost complete. Now I'm going to go and pull a nutrition label so we can add something to the back of the bag. And we want the bag to look almost like a real bag of chips. You know, it's going to be a real bag of chips, but the design from this 
uh, from a design standpoint. Okay, so we're going to get this one here. And I'm going to hold the shift key and drag one of these boxes in till I get it to the size that I want. And then I'm going to click OK. Now I want to put a stroke around this nutrition fact. So I'm going to go to FX, stroke. And I want to use the same uh, blue that's in this uh, bordering this label here. So that stroke there I want to use. Click OK. And I also want to add another one, but I want it black. So I'll just hover over her eye and get the black from there. OK, so now we have this side uh, done. Um, I also want to add something else from the LOL doll. I like to add this little thing here, LOL surprise symbol here. Okay, now I want to put some text here uh, from the birthday girl. And it's just going to say thank you. For coming to my party. And the birthday girl is Kanaya. All right, and we're going to line that up there. All right. We're also going to take that text down to 18. All right. And so it looks like we're pretty much ready here. All right. And one thing I like for you to remember is that when you're designing your chip bag, leave room on the left and right flap because you're going to have to overlap them at some point to close up your bag. So make sure you leave ample space on the left and right side so that you'll be able to uh, assemble your chip bag without covering up any of the writing or any of the digital artwork that's on your bag. Okay, so that does it for our first chip bag design. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in the next video and I'm going to uh, print and assemble this chip bag. So I'll show you how I assemble my chip bags and get them ready for shipment to customers. And if you have any ideas that you'd like to uh, share, any suggestions, please do so. And also please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.